Okay, let's dive right in with a simple to-do app. Now, this is gonna be super simple, so we're literally just going to have items. We're not even gonna have lists. So to start off, we're gonna say view, create, and we'll call it vooks-orm. That seems appropriate. All right, so we're gonna manually select features, and we're not gonna need the linter slash formatter, but we will need vooks, because vooks-orm is a vooks plugin. All right, no. So I'm basically just using default options here. Love these little icons that they have now. It's made everything so much like prettier. It's kind of funny how icons have made their way from like phones into uh, the, the programming world. Even our, even our consoles have them now. All right, so we're gonna CD into Vooks ORM. And we're gonna open that with code before doing yarn serve. Okay, so now let's say yarn serve. And while that's going, I'm gonna split the console by holding control and pressing backslash. And now we wanna install Vux ORM. So let's say yarn add at Vux dash ORM slash core. That's gonna get that installed for us. Great, so now that that's installed, the first thing we're going to do is create a class using Vux ORM. And basically a class is just like a model of what our data will look like. And it gives us a whole bunch of cool options and fun stuff that we can do. And it makes managing our data so much easier. So let's create a new folder here called classes because we're gonna make a few of them in the future. New file item.js. Okay, so we're gonna start by importing model from at vux-orm slash core. And model is this class that we'll extend that gives us like all the cool fun stuff. So export default class list, or it's not list, sorry, it's item extends model. Cool. Now we're gonna say static entity. And now the name of, the name of entity is basically the plural of your class, so items. It's kind of like what you would do in a MySQL database where this is where you store all of your items, okay? So that's what that name is for, okay? And then we wanna have fields, so we'll say static fields, return an object, and we're gonna say id is equal to this dot adder null. Now that null, means that this attribute will be null by default. So this is just your default option, okay? The next thing we'll have is, well, not a name, probably a body, I think that's appropriate. This dot adder, and a default will just be an empty string. I think that's appropriate. Cool, that's it. That's how you create a class using Vux ORM. And wait until the end of this video, the amount of cool stuff that you get out of this class is just awesome. The next step is using Vux ORM. So at the moment, our application doesn't even know about Vux ORM. Uh, so if we're going to store right here, this is the store file that we get by default, which uh, the view CLI has created for us. And it gives us a bit of boilerplate here with the state mutations and actions. We're not gonna need that because Vux ORM is gonna take care of all of that for us. Now, you can actually use Vux normally with Vux ORM. So you can kind of use both at the same time. And if you wanna migrate your code, you can do that as well. So don't worry, you can actually keep all of that in there if you like, but I delete it just because it makes things simpler. Okay, so now we're going to say import Vux ORM from Vux-ORM slash core. Next thing we're going to want is that class that we created. So let's say import item from classes slash item. There we go, so that's that done. Now view's already using Vooks for us, thanks for the boilerplate. Now we're gonna say const database is equal to new Vooks ORM dot database. Now I like to think of this as kind of like a database that's being built on the front end. So you know how you have databases like MySQL that sit on a server? This is kind of like creating a mini database on the front end. Next thing we're going to do is register this class into the database. So basically we're going to tell the database about the item class. And we do that by saying database.register and we're going to pass it through the item. Simple as that. Okay, so let's just quickly go through what we've done here. We've imported the item class 
We've instantiated the database. So this is like a special VOOX ORM database uh, that sits on the front end. And then we've registered our item class into that database so that VOOX ORM knows about it. Now, the last thing we're going to want to do is actually install the plugin because VOOX itself doesn't know about VOOX ORM yet. So let's say plugins, and we can send an array of plugins into VOOX. So we'll say VOOX ORM dot install, and we're going to pass that through the database. Now, don't worry if this is confusing because all of this markup, you only have to do once. Now, from now on, since I've got all this markup done, let's just create, let's just say I wanted to create a list item class. I would just duplicate this. So I'd say duplicate, call it list. And then I'd add anything I wanted to add there, make sure that the name is right, give it a good name for the database. Then I go into store, duplicate that, duplicate that, and change all of them to list. Boom, you've got a new class registered into the database. And you'll get used to that flow the more you do it. It might have felt fast when I did it then, but this is the kind of thing that just ends up sitting under your fingers the more that you get used to it. Okay, so let's delete that list class. Sweet, so we're back to where we were. Now let's open up our server. And notice that we've got a whole bunch of this stuff to begin with, and we probably don't need that, so we're gonna get rid of all of it. I'm gonna delete the Hello World component, move that to trash, go into app.view, delete all of this, and let's see here. We can get rid of all those components. We don't wanna import Hello World. And I'm actually gonna remove all of the styles as well. And save. So we just got a really simple view app. There we go. Right back to square one, check the console for no errors and there are none, so that's great. Now the first thing we're going to wanna to do is have a body for our list item. So let's just create an input here. v-model is equal to form.body. And we can close that off. Now, of course, we're gonna need that data that it's modeling there. So let's return an object and say form and body. And I usually follow this pattern here where I've got form as the root because it means that if I have a whole bunch of items, you can just pass them straight through. But anyway, I can talk about that later. Let's save it and see if it's working. It's working, we got our form input. Next thing we're going to want is a button that actually adds the item. So let's say button, and we can say here, add item. And when that button is clicked, we're gonna hit a method called add item. Okay, so let's add methods here. Whoop. Butterfingers. <laughs> the add item method. And we just got a console.log test just to see where we're at. Sweet. So we've got a button that works. We've got a import that is being modeled. Next thing we're going to do is make that input actually do something. All right, so this is the cool part. This is us actually using Vux ORM now. We're gonna get rid of that and we're going to import that model that we created earlier. So we're gonna say import item from classes slash item. Save that. And now we actually get to do something with it. So we're going to say item dot insert because we want to insert an item. And then you just pass it through the form. So we say data this dot form. And it's literally as simple as that. That's how easy it is to insert data using Vux ORM. And you can imagine if you have huge amounts of data that you have to wrangle with and deal with, it's so nice to have lines of code like this where you just insert it in a way that's so fluent and obvious. I mean, let's just read this out loud. Item insert, the data is this form. It just reads really well to me. I, I love it. All right, so let's just see if this works. We're gonna click on view here and I might just zoom in a bit so you can see that better. Whoop, not too far. So let's go into our store and we'll write test item, add item. And notice that something happened there. So I'm gonna say commit or, and if we go into items, you'll notice that there is 
a new piece of data. And there it is, that's the item that we just created. And it's got no ID, this is more for when you fetch stuff from the server, so don't worry about that for now. It's actually given us an ID uh, for free that we can use if we need to. And that helps for things like, um, and like displaying list items and giving those items a key. Okay, so that's cool. Isn't that awesome? Look how easy that was. And that's just one of the cool things that Vux ORM can do. I mean, we, we're only just getting started here. Now, of course, we're gonna to wanna to fetch those items. And this is even better. This is even more beautiful. Check this out. So computed, we wanna compute a uh, property which will be items. And we're going to return item.or. Bam, it's literally that simple. We're literally just saying return all of the items. And now we can use the items computed property. So let's just keep it really simple to begin with. Li um, v-4 item in items. And of course, we're gonna have to whack some data in there as well. Let's say item.body. What have I done wrong here? I don't have a key. So that's where we can use the key that Vux ORM gives us right out of the bat. So see this dollar ID here? There's no reason that we can't now just go key is equal to dollar ID. Oh, item dot dollar ID. There we go, it shows up. How cool is that? So let me just refresh the page. We can try cool things. Um, let's just say it's a shopping list. We're gonna need a banana, chocolate, frozen berries to put in our smoothies. Boom, and it works. Isn't that awesome? Let's just go back and have a look at this code here. Actually, I like to simplify things here. For the sake of keeping it all beautiful, let's make things a little bit more view-like. Uh, then again, this has kind of become how people write HTML these days, and I really like it. Um, and then we can say v-text is equal to item.body, and we get the same thing. All right, so let's go over what we did here. We created a class. And this class has an entity name, which is items. And that's how it's identified in the database. It's also got some fields. We can assign the fields here, such as the ID and the body. By the way, you can do something like this. You can say this.increment, and that will be an incrementing ID, but we can save that for another time. The next thing we did was get everything set up. So we went to store.js, which we get from our scaffold. And then we created the database using Vux ORM. And then we registered into that database the item that we created. And then after that, we installed the plugin. Now, if we go to app.view, we created our scaffolding, our input and our button. And when that button was pressed, we set it up so that it added an item using Vux ORM, using the insert command. And there's another one you can use here called create. And what create does is it'll actually override all of the data inside item. We've also got the update command, but we'll go over all of that later on. Insert is fine for now. And then after that, we created a computed property that returns all of the items. So this is a Vux ORM thing as well, item.or. And that's how we made our to-do app. So really cool. We get this beautiful fluent API out of the box and we haven't even gone into, let me just give you a taste of what you'll get later on you'll be able to, for example, choose a list. So let's just say we're on a page and we have a list. We'll be able to do something like this. List.query, this is where the real power comes in. And a list might have many items. So we can say dot with items. And maybe a list also has an owner. So we'll be able to say something like dot with owner and then dot get. So we'll be able to say, hey, jump in and grab me the lists with their items and with the owner. And I want you to get that for me. How cool is that? The querying in Vux ORM is really, really powerful and I can't wait to teach it to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you're as excited about this stuff as I am and I will see you in the next video where we're going to dive a little bit deeper. All right, ciao for now.